The most portable light towers in the world are inflatable. In this video, we'll show you how LTA Project's lighthouse towers are used and how easy they are to set up. Small enough package that they can be carried in any vehicle, ready for any remote emergency. Easily set up by one person in just minutes. The powerful lights not only provide brilliant work area illumination, but they can serve as warning beacons visible a mile or more away. Metal halide lamps are extremely efficient and can provide power from your vehicle using just an AC-DC converter. Even our largest LH-1000 tower can be carried in its included storage bag. Lighthouses have swing-out legs for sandbagging or staking for extra stability. The towers are available at four different heights and four different power selections. The smallest, the LH-250, is designed to be used in temporary structures like tents or air shelters. The largest, the LH-1000, gives the most illumination. Now we'll look at the parts to a lighthouse tower. At the top is a tab to which you attach your control rope for guiding it up and down. Below is the lamp compartment and the bulb access zipper so that you can remove the bulb when you're complete. Patches for attaching your stake down ropes in case it's windy. The main deflation zipper to quickly deflate the tower. The blower intake. Four swing out extension legs provide stability using sandbags or stakes. After the tower is completely inflated, turn on your light by plugging in the yellow plug. The lighthouse comes with its own carrying bag. Pull the tower completely out of the bag. Turn it upside down and swing out the extension legs. Fold them all the way out until they're in a cross position. You'll find steel loops in your stake bag that can be inserted into the ends of the legs to extend them. For stability in windy situations, you can add sandbags or other weights to the legs, or you can stake down through the loops. Pull the tower out until you can see the upper bulb compartment. Open the zipper below it. Through the zipper, you can add the bulb to the lamp holder. We'll show these next several steps with the lamp out of the lamp for clarity. The cage folds outward in an accordion fashion. Pull the loop into place. And then simply reach the bulb through the cage and screw into the lamp holder. All of this, of course, takes place inside the tower through the zipper. Once you're finished, zip up the zipper and close the flap over the zipper. Now you can close the large zipper at the base. Attach your control rope at the top. While standing close to the base, hold on to the control rope and plug in the black cord. Do not plug in the light yet. The tower will quickly inflate. Hold back on the guide rope in order to control the rise of the balloon. If it's windy or for long-term deployments, use stakes with your stake down ropes attached to the tabs at the side of the balloon. Now plug in the yellow plug and your light will warm up in about three to four minutes. When it's time to pack up your balloon, be sure and unplug the lamp at least seven minutes before deflating. Unplug the blower and guide the top of the tower down using the guide rope. As you pull down, a bend will form in the top. You'll continue pulling it down briskly until the top is in your hands. Once the top of the tower is safely in your hands, you can unzip the zippers to deflate. Access the bulb compartment and carefully unscrew the bulb. The bulb should always be carried in its padded case. Now you can fold up the tower, fold down the legs, and return it to its bag. Cinch the drawstring tight, 
and you are ready for the road. The light towers are very simple to operate, but as with all your equipment, you should practice your procedures before an actual emergency. Included with each tower, you'll find a complete manual of printed instructions. If you have any questions or need any help, give us a call at LTA Projects. Thank you.